another case that we have been following very closely is the Young Thug trial. Um, and, you know, just in this latest development, and by the way, I mean, this is a historically long jury selection process that's still underway, right? I mean, here we are in July. It's been going on since the start of the year. Still underway, the <clears throat> longest jury selection in Georgia ever. Uh, and it is shocking because we don't know when it's going to end. And so then, now, here's the newest thing, which is, uh, you know, another drama, right? It, it, the judge, Glanville, has found a potential juror. And again, these, these are potential jurors. I mean, it's a jury selection process. A potential juror has been now found in contempt for not showing up when she was supposed to and now is going to be required to attend the first five days of the trial or else go to jail for 20 days. Uh, what do you know about this? What do you think about this? Well, Judge Glanville is a very uh, firm judge when it comes to an orderly courtroom. Many people don't know this. Judge Glanville is one of the most high-ranking military uh, judges and lawyers in our uh, military currently. He has been very proud of his military service uh, for decades, and he's also a deeply respected trial judge on the Superior Court of Fulton County. It's kind of why he ended up with what has become the most complicated long case basically in Georgia history. The setting for the YSL trial is that the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, uh, is using a powerful tool of RICO, the Racketeering and Corrupt Organization Law, here in Georgia to attempt to tie together multiple members of the Young Slime Life crew, gang, or recording label, depending on who you want to uh, trust most. Uh, and by tying together all of these individual acts with the individual alleged perpetrators, the district attorney's office is trying to use the aggravated sentencing and other law enforcement powers available under the RICO law. When you have a RICO case, the RICO case is by its very nature doubly complicated than a regular case because there's two or more people. In this case, we got up to almost 30 individuals charged with a variety of different actions that stretched back years and years. The district attorney's office believes that all of these individual independent incidents are actually linked into a crime family unit organization or gang called YSL, and they were all done in furtherance of each other, and this includes murders. This includes huge, major criminal cases of which people have already been prosecuted and convicted uh, for. By tying these all together, Fonnie Willis is attempting to basically lock up the alleged leaders of this group away for life. So the fight is huge. Because of the number of people, there were many lawyers necessary, an independent lawyer for each and every client. That included some public defenders who at one point complained that they weren't being paid enough. And it's added just the regular complications that you have when trying to select a jury out of the community when there were so many stakeholders involved. That process has taken now seven months, um, <clears throat> and it doesn't have any sign of ending soon. And during that, this individual jury, juror, apparently did not <clears throat> show up, did not participate, and was not present appropriately. So Judge Glanville used his rights and powers as an elected Superior Court judge, the power of contempt, to run his courtroom the way he feels fit. And what he has done is he has given this woman an opportunity to attend the first five days of the trial as a consequence for not following the court's directions. And if she fails to appear and watch the trial for the first five days, Judge Glanville has told her she will go to the Rice Street Jail for 20 days. And people are shocked at that, but that is in the code. It is specifically allowed. That is the methodology, tool, and mechanic the judges will use to ensure their courtroom runs smoothly. They really can call a deputy over and say, lock them up for contempt. Mm, wow. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much, Josh Schiffer, joining us um, for uh, analysis on several of these uh, top stories, these cases that we've been following here on Atlanta News First and Atlanta News First Plus. So appreciate you, you joining us as always. Thank you so much, Joy. It's, it's been awesome. <laughs> thank you.